Hi FlossTube, it's Janet, Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 31. Um, if you are new to this channel, this is a YouTube channel about cross stitching. Um, thank you for stopping by and checking me out. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for returning and spending some time with me. I am in such a good mood today. I'm so excited about this floss tube. Um, I feel like things have just like turned around. So let's jump into this. Um, I can't even, I'm like busting. I can't even contain myself. All right, first off, I had lots of positive comments about my stitch, uh, my, it's not stitching, my recording spot last week out on my patio. Um, it was a beautiful, pleasant day and it's not now. It's kind of sunny outside, but it's like 48 degrees and feels like 40. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bundle up to take my dogs on a walk. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> um, so, um, part of the reason why I'm in such a positive, uplifting mood today is my husband went back to work yesterday. Um, he's a railroader, so he's not been put out because of, um, the world right now, but, um, the location, oops, my cat just hit my tripod. Uh, the location he would have had to go to was Detroit and that's like a hot spot and he chose to use some vacation. So, um, there have been all of everybody in this house. It has been a bit much for me. <laughs> um, so uh, last night was his first night back. He's sleeping right now because he pulled a third shift tonight. And um, and I get to record this. My two teenage boys are sleeping because that's what teenage boys do. And my daughter is off to work. So it's just me and you. And I'm super excited about it. One of the things I did since he went back to work last night was I was finally, I feel like I've been off for a month and I finally was able to jump on a virtual stitchers zoom it was so good for my soul i'm here to tell you if you don't belong to that group you have to request to join um and you have to answer questions to get in but i was with like-minded people cross stitching and i just felt the human connection and i needed that so bad last night i honestly didn't know i needed it that bad till i, I let myself do that so um, if any of you virtual stitchers are watching, I love you and I am going to make a point to get on there more because it is mind blowing what it has done for my um, spirit and soul and uh, just happiness level. So thank you very much for the love of that group. <laughs> um, and I just dabble in it. I don't um, get in there as much as I would like to. So anyway, um, we're going to move on to stitching because that's what you're here for. Um, I have no finishes this week. That's kind of disheartening. I did get stitching done and you're gonna see, but I have no finishes. So, but um, I was fortunate enough to, um, my local um, needlework shop, the Stitch In, Stitch In Frame, um, located in Fort Wayne, Indiana, of course is shut down. And they have known me for almost 20 years so um they were in the shop doing a little putzing around they're like hey your piece that you brought in for us to finish is ready we can bring it home and then you can just stop by our house and i was like they forgot that i had moved um no biggie and i was like i'll just have to wait and they're like i'm here for two hours buzz up here and you can grab it so i got to go home go get my fully finished that i have so let me show it to you this way and then this is abc's of spring they basically stretched it for me is what they did um i need to figure out cording because they're do you see the bead heads you can't see it straight on um to be honest with you i'm not sure if i'm going to put cording around it i can't decide but anyway i mounted it on this um muted green which is almost an exact match to the color um i plan on displaying this on this shutter and i haven't done anything to this shutter oops sorry um, the shutter seems wide for it, so I may like offset it and push it up. This shutter includes some like hooks that I'm thinking about hooking down here so that I can, um, display other little cross stitch knickknacks off of it and maybe do something fun over there. But anyway, I haven't decided where I'm putting it as far as centering it on this, but it is going to go right I can't do that right here <laughs> that piece of uh, artwork or whatever is coming down and this is gonna go up and I will have every season um, so super happy with that uh, super happy with that that is my 
finish. No, my FFO, fully finished. Um, I have a past finish that I forgot to show you. Um, actually, I almost forgot. I realized I didn't have this piece on display like two days before Easter, and I was like, well, get my bunny butts out. So, bunny butts. I actually have no idea who the designer is on this um, at all. It was stitched while I was still um, single in 2010. And that, you can't really tell. I don't even know if I did anything, but it's the fluffy stuff right there. So um, that's super fun. And I got it out just in time. And speaking of Easter, um, we have uh, new neighbors in our neighborhood and one sweet little girl, she, um, they did an Easter egg hunt in our, our yard because um, our two, two set of neighbors that have like little kids, they don't have a developed yard yet. So yes, come over here and spread your eggs. I, I mean, these kids are giving up enough right now. Anyway, in her Easter basket, one of her eggs was this frog. And I was like, I love frogs. Actually, my daughter is the one that told her first, I love frogs. And then, um, I love my little frog guy. So she gave it to me, what a little sweetheart. And I would put this up here, but Ollie's little butt is in here for us to see. So he's gonna go on display back there and watch over us, Ollie. Hey, hey, nobody wants to see your booty. Ollie, I guess he's being antisocial today. <laughs> Ollie, sorry, real life. Okay, I don't wanna look at a butt of a cat. He's been helping me um, do some stuff today. So we'll get into that in a little bit. All right, what have I been stitching on? We're moving on to my whips. I am so excited. I'm in such a good mood, I can't even. All right, Live Simply. I stitch on this every single day. It is on a 25 count Lugana Heritage. And this is where I'm at. I am busting out on the little girl. So there's the little girl here. That's the bottom part of her dress. She's holding a teacup. Um, don't look too close. Evidently white stitching isn't my friend on one over one. But I'm going with it and I live by the three foot rule. <laughs> My next piece is my One Nation that y'all love on 32 count vintage country mocha. Um, again, One Nation Sal, if you wanna pop in, we do one uh, state and one star a week. And ba -da -da, Tennessee was the little guy this week. I'm super excited. I feel like I'm probably, what, uh, Ohio's next. And there's probably three states in the next line. So I'm probably four weeks away from moving on to the bottom of that flag. Um, so I also did a little bit of the filling in of the diamond shapes over there to stay ahead of the process. So super beautiful. Um, next, I had a new start. Uh, and I'm super excited about this. It is Antique Locks and Keys by Shepard the Shepherd's Peddler. And I actually am stitching this using um, Silky Thread and just a scrap piece. I'm not sure, did I write it down? It was a scrap piece of leftover um, 32 count Picture This Plus Pewter. So, and, let me make sure I got this right. And here's where I got three keys, two locks. I love it. I love the variegation. I love the look of that. It's like a, charcoal gray thread. Um, it looks beautiful. That one, um, just something fun to pop in and do. I needed a new start and I need more. We'll talk about that. All right. I pulled out Suffragette. I'm not done with that yet. It's being stitched on 32 count Sandcastle Joblin. And basically I did some bunting and started on the girl over here. I'm off by a stitch. My bunting, one bunting is a little off, but I'm a little off sometimes too, so it is what it is. <laughs> so, Suffrage Act. That is a stitch along also with um, st um, stitching with the Sisterlies. I'll also put that here so that if you uh, want to join in and uh, follow along on that, it's, uh, those ladies are awesome. So, All right, I have not shown this to you in a while, and to be honest with you, I didn't stitch on it at all in the month of March. Um, Easter Sunday, it called to me 
and I answered. So this is my butterfly afghan. Um, I finished off this butterfly and then I started another block with the word butterfly. I have, once this butterfly block is done, I have two more that say the word butterfly and then I get to get into the other um, but individual butterfly designs. I'm just, Wow, the struggle is real. I just want to show you. This is the top half of the blanket, if I can do that. And the bottom half is an exact duplicate. And then each one of those squares will have an additional. This is out of um, Stony Creek Collections magazines from 2006. Um, I don't know if Stony Creeks are ones you can go buy old, old copies or not. Uh, but that was, if you all recall, that was, Afghan was given to me by my mom eons ago, probably 2007, and I'd never gotten it out. And once she passed, um, it just brings me comfort to stitch it when I need my mama. Sometimes I need my mama and I can't handle it, but sometimes I need my mama and I can't handle it. So there you have it. All right, next one is Cinnamon Stars. And this is stitched on a 28 count toasted coconut. And Every time, this picture, and I say this to you all all the time, these pictures do not do it justice. Do not ever judge a book by its cover. Do not ever just look at that picture and go yes or no. I'm telling you, look at the elements and figure it out because look at this. I put in, here's where I am. I put in all of these sunflowers. I want you to look at the beauty. Look at the beauty of those. That is nothing like that picture. It hurts my heart. It's so much beautiful, more beautiful in person. So I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm trying not to lose stuff. Okay. A couple more. A couple more. A couple more. Yesterday was the 13th. And usually, if I recall, um, I will jump into um, Dark 13 stitching or AKA I have Halloween stitching in my arsenal that was started in October, so there you go. Waxing Moon Designs, Witch on Duty. I really only did a little bit of this because I wanted to just touch it, basically. Um, I only did this. So it's the inside part of the hat. This is so much bigger than I thought, it, than um, like I envisioned it. It's on 28 count, what is it on? 28 count Dixie Dusty Twilight. Don't even know who the maker is, but um, anyway, a little bit at a time. I love my Halloween stitching. And one more because I was so close and I just felt the calling. Actually, I was stitching on this during um, my virtual stitchers visit because it wasn't much counting. I just needed to fill it in and that's why I grabbed it and it still fit the Dark 13 stitching. So. I am talking about BYOB, another chart that I have told you. The picture does not do it justice. And it is on 28 count legacy. I knocked out this. While stitching with those ladies, I got all the orange done. I am literally just down to, see at the top, these little greens on all the things that look like M's and W's. I literally have that to do and I'm done. And it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I still say it all the time. I can't believe I waited so long to stitch it. This copyright is 2008 and I probably have had it since around that time. Um, thought it was beautiful, but never gotten to it. So that's my stitching for the week. That's what I, and I am, I, I'm overjoyed with how much stitching it's got done. I still feel like I don't, don't get enough. Um, I have a feeling this next week when you see me, um, it is even going to be more because uh, because life life has gotten a little less crazy. So we did have follow-ups with my dad. I have had several people ask me, um, so I'm going to pop it in here before I jump into haul and whatnot. Um, we did get an update on my dad. They have moved it to stage four. Um, I'm not even going to say glioblasto. I, oh, it's butchered. I can't even say it. Um, we are moving forward with radiation and chemo therapy and just gonna do the best we can. Uh, yes, 
we were told it's not a curable one. We're just going to deal with his lifestyle. And my dad um, is that he's just a, he's 71. If anyone has anyone in that age group in their life, you just move forward is what you do. And that's what he's doing right now. Um, and we're all there to rally behind him and support him and uh, do what we got to do. As far as my son, uh, we did have an EEG done on him last week and the results came in. He still has an abnormal reads in his brain, but they believe um, through medication that we may need to tweak because we actually had to bring him down on his doses. He was getting like aggressive. <laughs> and my husband just took him down to a half dosage and the medical community is gonna work with us and that's what you do. So that's that for um, the loves in my life that are struggling right now. Um, I have some haul and I have a couple freebies that I pulled off that I want to share with you. So we're going to move into that. Um, I actually found, who did I hear this from? A floss tuber. Snug, Har Snug Harbor Crafts. No, is that the name? Snug Harbor or something. I'm sorry, ladies. I know you don't watch this, but somebody's yelling at my screen. Anyway. She posted yesterday that Lizzie Kate had a freebie uh, in regards to the Be Well thing. Um, and I don't think it's hashtagged with the hashtag Be Well and Stitch. But I had to, I was, uh, Lizzie Kate was my first love. So I'm going to show it real quick because it's a freebie. But you go to her blog, I believe. Or maybe her website. I don't know. It's www.lizziekate.com or Lizzie Kate Blogspot. So this is what it is. And you can go grab it there if uh, you're a Lizzie Kate lover like me. And then I was putzing around on Brook Books Publishing. And a uh, land that I love is a freebie on there. And I just it just called to me and I grabbed it because, you know, Patriarch Stitching is right around the corner, I'm sure. All right, so this is moving into haul. First off, haul. Katie Carney, if you are watching this video, this is your fault. And I mean that in a very loving way. I love watching you, girl. All right. I've never had a desire to do a long dog sampler, but I do now. I When Katie showed this on her Instagram, and then I went and watched her floss tube, I died. And, and the reason is simply the same. So I love the beauty of this. I don't even know what color I'm going to stitch on it. Um, but it says... Turn your face to the sun and the shadows fall behind you. This is such my, just me. It was just, I'm telling you. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Katie. Um, I look forward to doing this. I know I think you're jumping right in and I have to figure out floss. I, I have to figure out floss. All right, so a couple other hauls that I got is... While I was sneaking in to my uh, stitching store, I, this was sitting on their counter. I'm like, are those spoken for? And they're like, no. Ah. So here I go. Blackbird Designs, Sweet Land of Liberty. Um, just, I couldn't, I couldn't. I, lo I love my America. So, uh, and when I got back into cross-stitching this round a, a couple years ago after mom died, uh, I didn't, I had never been a Blackbird Design stitcher, and I didn't know they, like, came and went, so since I know that, I grabbed it. Another thing is Be Stitch Me's Fabric of the Month. I'm telling you, girl, you knock this out of the park every single time. I love your stuff. So, my first, the Fabric of the Month is actually Mar Martini. Look at this. Look, 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 look. I, it's such a subtle, oh my gosh, I just love it. And this, I, the color's not working right today in this room. I don't know why. I'm going to fold it back up and give you a close shot. See? Oh, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And I missed out on Friday night fight night. Um, to, not this Friday, but the Friday before. And they were doing this vanilla latte. And I just sent her a message. And I'm like, hey, girl, I just want a piece of that. And those people were vicious. There was nothing left over that week. So, vanilla latte. And I believe I saw she said she made it part of her new line, permanent line. Um, 
It is a just, I'm a neutral girl. So I'm gonna fold it back up and show you a close up. And here you go. There you go, there you go. All right, so as I'm recording this, I have a couple pieces of fabrics that I, um, one is dyed and drying because I wanna do the hands-on designs, um, scary, apoc scary apocalypse, yeah, yell it at me. I know you are right now. So anyway, I wanna start those finally. And then I had another chunk that I just wanted to give like a brownish color. That one's soaking, the other one's drying. And I will, if everything out works out great, I'm gonna insert pictures here of what those turned out like and go forth from there. So I have said this to you before, I've showed you these charts before and I have not done anything with this. I'm saying it to you again, before I come at you next week, these charts will be started. You hear yourself, Janet? These charts will be started. I need these started in my life. All right, girl, let's do this. All right, folks, I'm showing you again. Um, coffee Quaker. Gotta have it. It's crazy that I haven't started it. And the other one is Jardin Purvey's Gnomes. I, I'm showing them to you again. They, I better be showing the use to you next week as a start. Another one, I don't even just want to start this one. I think I want to start and finish this one. And this is Bendy Stitchy's Moral Compass. I need this. I'm struggling with my two children that are still in school. Well, basically one um, of not enjoying this e-learning and wanting to just be like, forget it. And that's not really a choice, but it's like a struggle. They only have e-learning three days a week. I understand it is not the norm. Nothing is the norm right now. I would like to be at work. I'd like to see my work husband. I would like to have my normal life back. Ugh. All right, one more thing of starts and that is as i'm dig 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 spring whirly gig this is going to be a start and a finish when i come at you next mark my word i love you people and you're going to help me stay accountable and i love you so much i've got a giveaway so all the normal things do not say giveaway be 18 i would love for you to be a subscriber i am so close to 1000 um followers if you feel so inclined to share and comment and get me out there, I, I just want to hit a thousand. I don't know why. It's like, I just do. All right. Anyway, enough of my vain, selfish plug right there. Here is the giveaway. This is Country Cottage Needleworks Spring Social. Um, sorry for the bad, bad glare. If you are interested, it's springtime. Um, even though some of my lovely followers are still getting snow. I'm so sorry. Look at this. I just, I thought I would stitch it and then it didn't work for me as far as, um, I don't know. It just doesn't call for me. So I want to share the love. There's like two different sets of people, a house, two beautiful trees and some flowers. If you want to stitch this, just say spring in the comments and we'll, we'll get this out to someone. Um, I live in a very small town, so I don't have problems with the post office thing um, to be able to mail this out for you. So I'm looking around. I think that's it. I already jumped into plans for next week because I'm going to have all those. I'm going to have two starts and two finishes to show you next week. Whew. I'm probably adding way too much pressure for myself. Um, uh, I have touched on this before. I think I say this wrong every time. For Mania, and everybody seems to be talking about it right now, I am doing Mira Mania. I will do a new start every Saturday of a Mira, and I will work on it every single day. Um, I don't, I haven't decided for how long every single day, but uh, I just need some beautiful ladies in my life, and there's where they're gonna come. And my birthday is in there, so on in the month of May, so, and it is a Saturday, so I have chose uh, Queen of Freedom for that uh, new start on that day. I have a couple orders coming in. I was hoping they'd be in here today. Um, one is just a bunch of floss, so I probably won't show that on here. I'll just throw it where it needs to be. I jumped in to Fat Quarter Shops. Um, grow. 
Yep. Not, not remembering that name. I'm going to put it right here for you, but I bought the, uh, I signed, it's like a stitch along. So there's five releases for it and it's a good attitude. And I'm probably going to jump into Caterpillar cross stitches, um, positive attitudes, uh, because for right now I want to do all the things. So it's just me. <laughs> all right. I'm rambling. Um, I will be showing you my mirrors, um, here soon. And I have had a request of like, people want to see my stash. I'm going to put a picture. It is literally just a tote. And um, I'm going to put a picture of my tote right here. And I'm going to tease you. And then we will see about me diving into that. And I may have to break it up and do a special segment. I don't know. I haven't figured it out. I will because somebody said they would love to see my um, stash. So we were... I'm going to get off of here and stop rambling with you. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. You are a loving bunch. Um, thank you for all the prayers and positive thoughts. Uh, this community, you hear me say it, you are amazing. Um, so thank you for being here again. Keep stitching, enjoy life, and I'm going to send you much love. Bye.